When I read Grush's report that was that's public that anyone can read, in the report he described that one of the theories is that the that what we're encountering are beings that are extra dimensional or interdimensional. Well, in in a lot of different scriptures, including the you know the, the Bible the, and others, that's that's really the way that you describe. Uh, messengers of God or, you know, angels. And so uh, they may not be, may not uh, fit exactly the biblical narrative, but whenever I use the term angels, to me, it's it's synonymous with an extra dimensional uh, being. Joining us now is Tennessee Representative Tim Burchett, who has been a vocal advocate for increasing transparency from the government when it comes to identified flying objects. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me, ma'am. It's well, my the, pleasure. Thank you. The latest report shows the government cannot explain 171 of these sightings. What do you think those could be? <clears throat> well, I, I've been a believer in the phenomena for a long time. I'm, you know, I, I'm a Christian. I'm not a very good one. I read my Bible, and first chapter of Ezekiel is pretty clear of a of a UFO sighting. Of course, it's written in the from King James version and translated from earlier. Um, earlier words, but the reality is, as you're seeing on the screen right now, that is something that is, uh, def it is defying any of our, um, any of our uh, uh, capabilities at all. If you were a human and, and make the turns that have, that have been seen in some of these footage, some of this footage, you would literally turn into a ketchup package. I mean, you would be gone. And, um, and these things are showing the current one right there is not showing a vapor trail. It's it's just uh, it's 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 something else out of this world. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say call name La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rachakodash. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And Shalom to you, Ankim out there. That's pushing his truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash, Shalom to the elect, the 144,000. Okay, so this lesson, okay, is, hey, this is a, hey, man, we're living in very beautiful times, you know. You have, you know, the war, the, the, the third woe, the war three is, um, is on the high rise. You know, there's more articles coming about. Regarding the MOTB, you know, and right here, okay, this is an article on DailyMail.com, uh, and the article says, the headline it says, two Republican congressmen claim UFOs could be angels sent by the Most High as, as well, I, I, well, actually, slot it. let me read it verbatim. It says, could be angels sent by God which is in all capitals, which you know the true names of the Lord is Yahweh Bahashim Shai. Okay. Yahweh meaning he exists. Bahashim means the name and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Okay. He saves, you see, and which, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to return on the so-called UFO and, you know, uh, destroy Babylon, you know, destroy all, all these armies of the, of the, uh, of these nations. Okay. And simultaneously deliver his elect. OK, so it says two, two Republican congressmen claim UFOs could be angels sent by the most high, as they say, sightings are consistent with scriptures from the Bible. And guess what? They're right, because the uh, the, the so-called UFOs in the scriptures, you know, they're uh, they're referred to as chariots of the most high. So, so sometimes they, you know, it, sometimes it may say a cloud. You know, but they are chariots of the most high and the word chariot, it means vehicle. So the heavenly vehicles or the heavenly chariots of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which is going to be the elect's, you know, way of getting out of here, of getting delivered. OK. And it's spiritual, too, because in this article, it uh, it has one hundred and forty four comets, you know, so that's 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 highly spiritual, you know, and the elect is, you know, the, it's the, the one hundred and forty four thousand that's going to be delivered. By what Esau calls UFOs, you know, so we're living in beautiful times, man. We're living in a time of prophecy, you know, and through his spirit, the elder Paul Sahar deemed this year 2024 to be the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, you know. So soon all hell is going to break loose, 
Okay, things are, you know, ramping up, man. Okay, but back to the article, and it says, um, Republican Eric Burleson views angels as synonymous with extra dimensional beings. Okay, Republican Bur Burleson joins Re Republican Tim Burchett in citing religious texts as answers on UFOs. You see, so. Hey man, the cat's out the well. The cat's been out the bag, you know. It, it was only a matter of time until people, you know, would finally realize, you know. But, but, but little do they know that, hey man, this place is about to get invaded, you know. As they say, a so-called alien invasion, like like how they show the movies, uh, uh, um, Independence Day with Will Smith. Well, guess what? That's gonna happen. You see, and to back that up, let's get uh, Zechariah five. Okay, Zechariah 5, and I'll start from the top. Zechariah 5 and verse 1, and it says, then I, uh, then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. Okay, now, is he talking about a piece of flying bread? No, he's talking about a chariot. Okay, and it says, and he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll, the length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breed of thereof 10 cubits. So, you know, it was, had, you know, it had the, some size to it, okay? Verse 3, and it says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Right, man? You know, this, this place, Babylon, is doomed, okay? Because soon... The uh, chariots of the Lord are going to, well, actually, I put it to you like this, because even though there has been chariot sightings throughout Babylon and across the whole, you know, the whole globe, you know, there's evidence. But but soon, you know, but soon the chariots is, is, is going to become full fledged, man. OK, it says that, you know, every eye shall see him. And how are they going to see how shall return it by way of those chariots? OK, people are going to see the uh, the fathership coming. People are going to see. You know, thousands of chariots. Okay, people are going to see these things. All right. And it says, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. Right, man, Esau. You see, who stole us? You know, and, and, and on top of that, who still has us in their hand? Okay, eat them. All right. And then guess what? They got to be cut off, man. All right. You know, they... What's the uh, scripture in Jeremiah uh, 50 and 33? Let's, let's grab that real quick. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 33. And it says, uh, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah, meaning the uh, both southern and northern kingdom, okay, and the children of Judah were oppressed together, right? And I believe that word oppressed or oppression, it means um, cruel authority. Let me just grab that meaning real quick, just for further ed edification. Let's type in oppression. Now, I'm just going to look this up in the uh, the online etymology dictionary. Now, look at the word oppression. Actually, let me go back. Let's just look at the word. Now, the word oppression, it says um, cruel or unjust use of power or authority. All right. And it doesn't Esau, you know, uh, didn't he do that? Well, especially back in the times of child slavery, he, he definitely did that. You know, he he uh, he, he went past, you know, the uh, the boundaries. OK, Esau furthered the affliction. Like after he got out of you know, child slavery, you know, what was set up? The KKK. You see, so he has constantly been, you know, been on our asses, man. OK, so it says the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together and all that took them captives, held them fast. They refused to let them go. OK, so so Esau, he doesn't want to let us go. He, you know, he doesn't want to see us, you know, rise up. He wants to see us, you know, keep being on the bottom and to keep being a so-called statistic. You know, just to, you know, continue to be a byword, 
You see, but guess what? That's going to change soon because why? I'm going to get it. Let's get it. Verse 34, Jeremiah 15 and 34. And it says, their redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. And who is that? Yahweh Shai. You see? And how is he going to redeem us? By delivering us on the so-called UFO, which Esau admits that the UFOs, you know, uh, um, you know, are angels, you know, and that and that and that they uh, link up with the scriptures, the Bible, you see. And it says the Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land of, to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. So what does that mean? That means that the Lord is going to come back in the fellowship. OK, deliver us. OK, and bring judgment upon, you know, these heathen upon upon, you know, this of uh, the cesspool of a kingdom, Babylon. OK, so back in Zechariah. Uh, five and in verse three, and it says, I just read off where I left off at and it says, for everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. Right? So doesn't Esau, doesn't he swear in the Bible? Right? He swears in the Bible in, in his courthouses. I believe he does the same thing in the uh the uh, the uh the inaugurations. Okay, and then on top of that, he does it with the left hand, you see? And you know, and Esau, you know, he, you know that he, he's a uh, he's a uh He's the he's completely contrary to the ways of Yahweh about Shemal Shai. You see, he's contrary to, you know, uh, his twin brother, Jacob. That's why he says in the book of Genesis, the 25th chapter, it says that two nations are going to be in thy womb. OK, two separate nations, meaning what? Two different spirits. You see, so Esau, he's completely the opposite of us. He's our evil twin brother. OK, verse five. And it says it says, um. Oh, so like, I'll skip the I'll skip the part. Verse four, excuse me. And it says, now here's the point that I wanted to get it uh, to, uh, to get into going in about the uh, chariots. OK, it's like right five and verse four. And it says, I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. Now, what's going to enter into the house of the thief? Chariots. OK. Go back to the movie, uh, you know, Independence Day and look how that that chariot, that fathership just entered into this realm from from a from a whole different dimension you see and then once that happened everybody stopped what they were doing nothing that they were doing in their lives mattered you know and they and they all looked up you know you you can actually go youtube you know this scene you know you had jake's playing basketball okay you had you had people that were homeless you know just you know doing you know whatever okay people stopped in traffic all right. Just just to look up and see what was in the sky. And that's going to happen. OK, people, people are going to, you know, look up, you know, and and, and uh, have heart attacks. People are going to, you know, shit their pants. People are going to give up the ghost on just the, the sight of the chariots. OK. People because right now people are so focused, you know, looking down their cell phones, the social media that they don't know that there's a whole different world going on above them. OK. And that's why a lot of people are going to get caught on guard with prophecy. Excuse me, by prophecy. All right. And actually, let me get that real quick in Luke. This is the book of Luke. 21 and in verse. Luke 21 and verse 26. And it says, men's hearts failing them for fear. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Right. So people are going to actually, you know, their hearts are going to, you know, give up because of, because of fear, you know, because, because of what's to come here on the planet earth. OK, because something is coming that that hasn't been, you know, uh, uh, seen that hasn't been, you know, if you will, that hasn't been, you know, uh, broadcasted, if you will, on a. Um, a very high level, okay. Because even though chariots, they're you know the chariots has, has you no, know, they have are they they has always been around, you know, but now they were living in different times, you know, you know, uh, chariot sightings. Even though you know they're um they're around, it's not if you it's not um 
how can I say it? It's not something that you see every day. I put it to you like that. But as soon as it's going to be to the point where, you know, they're just going to manifest. And once that happens, man, hey, hey, man, it's going to get crazy out here. You know, people are going to be having heart attacks. People are going to be just giving up the ghost because of the the uh, scary sight of, you know, you have a shot's return. You see? And it says, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the son of man, Yahweh Shai, coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Right. And, and early I mentioned in the Bible, you know, it may say a cherry or it may say a cloud sometimes. And right here it says cloud. Now, what does that mean? A so-called UFO. Now, is, now, does that mean that Yahweh Shai is going to come back on an actual cloud? No, he's coming back in a so-called UFO, a chariot. OK, and the cloud that that's just symbolic of a chariot. And, and, and uh, even though the chariots, you know, they can disguise themselves as clouds, you see. But soon that uh, that uh, that cloud that's that, that's mentioned right here in verse 27, that's talking about a chariot, you see. And it says, uh, man, come in a cloud with the power and great glory. OK, and that great glory is talking about Yahweh Shai, man. OK, Yahweh Shai is coming. And, you know, in, in, in uh, the most highest glory. OK, he's coming in his father's glory. All right. Let's get that real quick. If I can look it up just real quickly. Uh, coming in his father's glory. In his father's glory. Yep. This is Matthew, 20, uh, Matthew 16 and verse 27 and it says it says um for the son of man shall come in the glory of his father with his angels and then he shall reward every man according to his works you see so yahweh shai is going to come in his father's glory because because he's coming in the name of yahweh that's why we say yahweh by shimmy yahweh shai okay yahweh you know gave yahweh shai the blueprint you know he he, he passed everything down to yahweh shai you see just just like yahweh shai said if you see me you seen the father, okay? So Yahweh Shai is coming back, and they know he's coming back, you know, uh, um, and and the Most High Yahweh's glory, you see. So back in Luke twenty one and verse twenty eight, and it says, "And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your addition draw nigh." Right? What things come to pass? Me talking about, you know, uh, uh, the signs. You know, the uh, the uh, chariot sightings, you know, the uh, the, the signs that Yahweh Shai told us about in the book of Matthew, the 21st chapter, you know. You know, and we are, you know, uh, witnessing these signs, you know, heavily here on earth, you know, the earthquakes, you know, the uh, 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 the uh, the uh, the pestilences, the famines in which the famines that that's going to increase. OK, and so much that people are going to be, you know, become cannibals. In these last days. All right. What else? You have wars and rumors of wars. You know, signs in the heavens. You know, uh, uh, blood moons. Okay. A solar eclipse. All right. Chariot sightings. So so when these things begin to come to pass, hey, look up, man, because your addiction draw nine. Okay. Because your deliverance is around the corner. Okay. And Esau, he's admitting, finally admitting that. That uh, uh, these UFOs, so-called UFOs, you know, are, are, are the angels in which we knew that, you know, but Esau has finally admitted it, which proves that through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, we were right. Starting off with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you see. So let's back, head back in the article. OK. And. Um, let's see, let's see. Score down a little bit. It says. um. They uh, says uh, they may not fit exactly exactly the the biblical narrative, but whenever I use the term angels, as he told that UFO podcast Tuesday, to me it's synonymous with an with an extra dimensional being. You see, so yeah, man. So so the angels, you know, so so you know they is so the angels and the uh, chariots, man. It is definitely is definitely part of the biblical narrative. You see, because. That's how we're going to get delivered by way of the chariots. OK, and to prove that. Let's get uh, Matthew 24 and verse 
31 and it says, and then it shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven. Oh, it's like a wrong verse. Actually, yeah, let me get that. Let me start at Matthew 24 and verse 30. But the point I wanted to get in is 31. Okay. So Matthew 24 and verse 30, and it says, and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Right. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. OK. So the elect are going to be beamed up. In a chariot, man. OK. From from the four winds of the earth, because you got to keep in mind that as a nation of, uh, you know, uh, uh, as a people, we've been, you know, we've been scattered. So you have Israelites across the four winds of the earth that may look like heathens, but they're serving Yahweh by Shema Shai because, you know, the Holy Spirit bears with their spirit. You see? So the Lord is going to come back to and redeem his men. Okay. And also, too, you know, the, uh, the, the, the one third, you know, you have the, uh, the, you have the, uh, the one third, uh, and it's going to be men, women, and children. You see, you're going to have the, the, the friends of the prophets, the families of the prophets, you see, the households, okay? And it says, um, back in the article, it says, he added in a lot of different scriptures, including the Bible and others, that's, that's really the way that you describe messengers of the most higher angels, okay? It says, um, uh, Republican Burleson's comments echo statements by fellow GOP Congressman Tim Burchett, who told reporters last year that he believes the first chapter of Ezekiel is pretty clear of a UFO sighting in, in which, yeah, you know, the, uh, the, the Ezekiel the first chapter breaks down the description of, you know, the angels, you know, and, 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 and how, you know, the, the chariots maneuver, you know, as well with the angels, you see. So, yeah, man, you know, we going home, man. OK, we are going home. OK. And Esau, hey, you can't listen. You cannot. How can I put this? Esau, you can no longer hide the uh, the facts that are in the Bible. OK, you can't you can no longer um, control the narrative because ultimately, you know, um, prophecy is going to, you know, trump what you got to say. OK, because the scriptures say that you can't do, you can't do nothing against the truth before it. OK, so this right here, it, it just it just furthering what we already know to be true in the scriptures. You see. So Esau, man, your days are numbered. OK, your days are truly numbered, man. You see, this is the book of um, Psalms. Psalms chapter 68. And um, verse 17, and it says, the chariots of the most high are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. OK, so that being said, I just want to say call name La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors being to the elder apostles of great millstone that do rule and teach well. All right. And Lord's will, this lesson was edifying to the to the Lord's sheep, you know. So yeah, man, you know, hey, uh, uh, the the Yahweh uh, Bashmah Shai is coming back with, you know, his angels, you know, with the uh, you know, with the uh, the twenty thousands of his angels, okay, the thousands on top of thousands of his angels, you see. So yeah, man, keep pushing, keep striving, you know. And hey, man, we almost home, man. Okay, keep enduring, you know. Fast if need be, you know, and, you know, and, and, uh, and continue to rebuke Satan. Don't let Satan, you know, infiltrate your mind, you know, and just keep pushing, man. You know, we are almost home, you know, and Lord's will, I can, uh, Lord's will, I'll put this, uh, the link to this article in the, uh, in the video. So that way, you know, if you wanted to read the article yourself, you know, you can do that on your own. But yeah, man, nonetheless, I just want to say, call, and lie, you have about Shai, about Shai, and until next time, I say, Shalom.